There I am. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another wonderful, smart Monday, January. What's the date today? It's Monday, guys. you got to bear with me. January 29th. It's almost the end of the month. My head, why is my head down here? Let's get my head up here. There we go. Awesome. All right. Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful morning, wonderful evening. I can see some of you guys are waking up for this. Some of you guys are just about to go to bed. Appreciate you being here. I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, so, I want to start off with the question of the day today because it's the middle, it's the end of January here, and I'll be honest with you, the, the weather in January is not so awesome. So while I'm doing a few shout outs here, I'm going to start you guys off with the question of the day. So while I'm doing some hellos, please feel free to, uh, no, that's not one, please feel free, no, that's not one, there we go, please feel free to jump in and answer this question with the group because the question of the day is, what do you like to do when the weather sucks? Because the weather right now in Vancouver sucks. So please tell me your answer to that while I do some shout outs in the chat over here. Uh, let's see who's in the chat today. Hello Eunice, hello Samia, uh, hello Alan, hello Salua, hello Garima again, hello Garima, Karen, Samia, Gilmara, hello Gilmara, Eunice. Uh, okay, what else we got? We got some new people in the chat here. Bismo's back, awesome. Uh, Michael, hello. Gertrudis, hello. Jenny EF official. What's the EF for? Maybe I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, okay. Tui. Tui? Oh, I'm never going to say that. <laughs> Correct. Hello, anyways. How are you? Uh, Alessandra, awesome. All right, everyone here. Manal's back. Manal's saying, I hope you'll teach something more advanced today. Manal, I'm going to do my best to teach you something. It's, uh, it's a tricky thing. We've got some students who are a little bit low and a little bit high, so I try to find something in the middle. Uh, today, oh, good question, Bismarck. What does sucks mean? Sucks means it's terrible. So this is your verb of the day, and the verb of the day is sucks. So for example, the weather, the rain in Vancouver sometimes sucks because the last 10 days it was just raining, 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 raining. That sucks, okay? So sucks means not very good. Uh, so that's your verb of the day. Um, everyone else who has joined the chat, so feel free to answer this question of the day, what do you like to do when the weather sucks? That's what we're going to start with, a little warm up here. I'll tell you what doesn't suck. I like this thing. It gives me a chance to just chat and tell you my opinion. I hope you guys don't mind. This is like my personal therapy now. I'm just going to share everything with you. This doesn't suck. This is Brazilian coffee. I got some Brazilian coffee from a coffee shop down the street and they do Brazilian coffee and it's hard to get Brazilian coffee in Canada, but it's starting to come. So this does not suck. Uh, so I'm very happy about this. To all my Brazilians, thank you. Keep making amazing coffee. I love it. Also, Colombians, love you as well. Your coffee is awesome. Keep me alive. All right, so let's see some answers here. What do you like to do when the weather sucks? Uh, let's see here. <coughs> uh, Judith says, go somewhere else where the weather is more welcoming. Judith, you read my mind. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'd like you guys to write this down. This is an important note of today's lesson that this time next year, I'm not going to be here. I'm actually going to be traveling somewhere in some tropical place with some warm weather, sitting in the sun, probably on New Year's Eve, jumping the waves. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So just, just make sure that you know that next year at this time, I won't be teaching class because I'm going to be somewhere tropical, living it up, living large in the sun. Okay? Uh, if any of you have an extra sofa, please you know, keep some space for me. In January, if you live in a warm country, I will come and visit you, hang out with you, spend some time together. All right. So that's my rant for that. Uh, Julian says, I would like to study with smart English. Yes, Julian, you the man. Uh, Bisma, I'd rather stay in bed. Good idea. Gilmar, I love to read a book. Yes, all good ideas. Something just to take your mind off of the rain. There's a good one. Take your mind off of the rain. Take your mind off something. Good, good little collocation there. Uh, Gorima says, I'd like to stay home, have some tasty food with my family when, whenever the weather sucks. That's a great idea. Food makes you happy. Coffee makes you happy. Lots of things make you happy. So do things which make you happy. I think that's the real lesson of today. What else we got here? Gozia. Gozia. When the weather is terrible, I just stay at home and have an immersion in English. So immersion. I think yeah. I think it's immersion, right? So immerse yourself in English, maybe with a little smart. See, plug in the smart, plug smoke. Uh, what else we got here? Listen to music. Yes. Drink hot beverages and cozy up. Manal, who are you cozying up with? You, yourself or the little someone over there? Uh, do, 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 do. How am I, Julian? Julian, well, I'll be honest with you, it's Monday, so eh, slowly building myself up to, into it. So if I start making mistakes in my grammar or just you know look a little off, it's because it's Monday. 
I should probably do this stream on a Wednesday when I got a lot more energy. Monday's like my zombie day, so it takes me a little while. What else we got here? Gamara said, spend time attending English and French class on YouTube. Also a good idea. Eunice, I'd like to watch movies when the weather sucks. Awesome. Uh, Judas asked me, what is the four-digit number of Smart English on the Discord site? Oh, this I don't know, Judah. What is the four-digit number of Smart English on the Discord site? I will text somebody. I'm going to text somebody right now and try to get you an answer for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll do that while it's four-digit. I'm going to have to remember that. I'll try to get you that number, Judah. Uh, Master says, hi, everyone. Sorry, <laughs> so late. Okay, you're turkey. All right, very late. Thank you for coming, Master. Master, thank you for coming and joining us. Uh, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. And what else we got here? Okay. Monday suck. Thank you, Julian. Yes, that's you read my mind. You just went into, through the computer into my mind. Monday suck. I think it's double Monday and then Wednesday, and then we're kind of good, you know? So Wednesday's all good. All right, so awesome. Christina, same thing. Good idea. Watch a movie. So here we go. Uh, let's jump into what we're actually going to do today. We're going to learn some English. And I thought, let's do this one. This one is not easy because a lot of people, because mm, there's a lot to know. So what we're going to do, and you've got the document, we're going to look at modal verbs in the past. And modal verbs in the past can be kind of tricky. So we, in a previous lesson, if you went to a, one of my other lessons, uh, we did modal verbs in the present and the future. And this time we're going to do it in the past. Uh, because it's a little bit tricky, so I'm going to show you some sentences. I'm going to show you uh, which ones have a little bit of a different meaning. So they're kind of similar, but they're kind of different. We're really going to go into the details, the minutia of uh, how to do this kind of grammar. Julian's asking, should I download Discord? Yes, you should, Julian. Check it out. Uh, I think you, I think it's free, so it's cool. Try it out because it's a good way that you can connect. So if you guys haven't done this, I did this all last week, but the Discord app uh, is kind of cool. I'll do this real fast. But Discord app is something that you can use uh, to keep in touch with other students who are doing smart. So I go to discordapp.com. That's the website there. Ooh, where are we going here? You be quiet. Uh, discordapp.com and check it out. Uh, it's right up there. You can download it on your phone and it's, uh, it could be a useful way for keeping in touch with everybody who's doing the smart applications and other people who are learning English. So we have our own page there. So go and check it out because I believe it is free and everybody likes free stuff. Okay, so you can download it on your phone. So yes, check it out. You need to, oh, that's why. Ah, okay, you need to know the four digit. Okay, while I get you guys on this, I'm going to do this four digit thing. I'm going to get get the man to give me an answer on this. Okay, so let's jump into the lesson, and while we do that, I'm going to get you the code for Discord. So here we go. So we're going to look at modal verbs in the past. So all you have to do, you got to do two things. You got to tell me your answer. Uh, do you agree or disagree? This is a classic Kent lesson. Agree or disagree? And also, I would like you to tell me is if these sentences are in the past simple or past continuous. Okay, so for example, mm, I went to. The, okay, let's let's use a better example. Um, Yesterday I ate pizza, okay? Past simple, ate pizza, not eating or anything like that. At 7 p.m. yesterday, I was eating pizza, past continuous, okay? So the continuous is the ing, and the simple is not the ing. So we're gonna look at both of those today. Uh, but I want you to tell me, looking at those sentences, are they past simple or past continuous? That should be pretty easy. And also I want you to tell me your opinion. So I want you to read this sentence here starting with number one, and then I want you to tell me the grammar, and of course, tell me your opinion. So let's start with the first one. Hello, Pilar, how are you? Uh, so we're gonna start with this one, number one. I could play a lot of sports well when I was younger. So do you guys agree or disagree with that idea? And I'm gonna text while you're doing that. So please send a few answers into the chat that we can talk about. Four digit code. For Discord. Students asking. Okay, so hopefully he'll get back to me with the four-digit code for Discord. Okay, so let's start with that. So first one, past tense. Yes, you got it. I could play a lot of sports well when I was younger. Simple past, you got it. Uh, do you guys agree with that idea? Were you able to do it? And remember, if you use I could play a lot of sports well when I was younger, it kind of sounds like now you cannot, right? Because it's finished in the past. If you can, you might say, I could play a lot of sports well when I was younger, and I still can, kind of done. You know what I mean? So it kind of sounds like you did and you didn't. 
Uh, Gozia says, Gozia says, I played tennis when I was younger. Okay, good sport. And you could say, I could play as well, right? So we're going to look at a little bit of the meaning differences between, for example, I could play and I was able to play. And when should I use could and when should I use was? And when should I use could have gone? Because they're all a little bit different, right? All right, so uh, Jafar says, I agree because it's about a habit in the past. Good, exactly, right? And we use the past simple, the present simple, and the future simple for sometimes things which are, oh, okay, interesting. Sometimes we use those things. We use uh, the past simple, the future simple, the present simple for repeated actions, right? Like uh, last year I worked again and again and again. Next year I will work again and again and again. Or it could be a one-time activity. Yesterday I watched a movie, just one. Or yesterday I ate a pizza, just one. Okay, so we can use those things for repeated or one-time activities. Okay, let's see here. So guys, you were asking about the Discord app. So let me just go back here for a sec. Uh, I'm told that there is no code for the Discord, the Discord app. Uh, when you sign up, you have to put in a screen name. So maybe that's what it is. So I don't know, I'm just getting relaying some message here. But if you guys want, maybe we can try it at the end of the class. We could try to open it together and sign you up for an account. Maybe we can see, I'll, I'll work with you and do that. So maybe let's save that for the end of class and we'll see if we can get you in the Discord. Okay, so let's go back here. All right, so that's good. Uh, what else we got here? I do, I could play volleyball and basketball very well, very nice. We, we use could with state verbs and be able to with action verbs. Ooh, uh, Bavia, I'm not sure how to say a name, but I'm not sure that's quite right. I'm not sure we only use could with state verbs. I think Actually, I think we don't use could with state verbs. For example, we never say, I could know. That would be wrong, actually. That'd be wrong in English. So we're going to look at could, and we're going to look at, uh, so save those questions, because we're going to do some of this, and then we're going to jump into the instructions and the explanations. So let's start with this one here. I was able to get a good score on last Friday's quiz. Now, I don't know if you had a quiz. My, my students usually have a quiz every Friday. We hit them with a little quiz every Friday just to make sure that they were paying attention throughout the whole week. Uh, what is the grammar here, past simple or past continuous? Gozia says past simple. Uh, I'm going to agree with her. It's pretty straightforward, right? There's no I ing, so it's a past simple idea. I was able to get a good score on last Friday's test. Uh, Bismuth, no past continuous. It's got to be if you see the ing. Right, uh, working, getting, listening. Then it's going to be a. It could be, could be a continuous. So you need the be verb. I was working. I was listening. I was talking. That's the past continuous because we have was or were, or am or is or whatever, and then a ing verb. So you guys got it. Past simple. Um, okay. Let's jump into this one because this one. Now look at these three together because there's a difference here in when we use these things. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what can you use instead of could? Uh, well, well, could is for a, well, maybe let's let's keep keep these because I'm what we're going to do. We're going to go through these, but we're not going to we're not going to look at all the details just yet. We're going to do that just after. So that's what we're going to talk about. What's the difference between could and be able to? Uh, what's the difference between could play and could have played? Because we're going to answer all those questions as soon as we go through a few. So keep those questions, keep them in your back pocket, uh, because we're going to get to them as well. All right, so let's try number three. What happened to my face? Did you see that? My face just went fuzzy, and then it went back. That was weird. The camera just lost me. Okay, I'm here. Zoom. Black mirror, anybody? Black mirror, somebody's watching me. All right, so I could have gone to another English-speaking country if I didn't come to Canada. Okay, you guys are not in Canada, so let me just change that one a little bit. Let's see. I'll just change that to this if I wanted to. Okay, so that's the new sentence there. Uh, so your sentence number three is now, I could have gone to another English-speaking country if I wanted to. So in the past, you know, um, maybe you had an opportunity to go abroad. Uh, what do you think? Blur. Yes, it was a blur. Points for that word, blur, B-L-U-R. Uh, yeah. All right, so Lewis says, because you said we can't use it with status verb. That's right. And I'm going to get to that. I, I'm gonna, I promise I'm going to get back to that as well. Uh, so what is the grammar here? <coughs> What's the grammar here? So let's do that, number three. So this, again, there's no ing here, so it's got to be. Is it simple or continuous? Is it the past simple or past continuous? What do you guys think? I'm going to drink my coffee while you think. 
Mm -hmm. It's a conditional. Yeah, you're right. It's a conditional sentence. But mm, but I want to know is it a you know is it a ah okay. But it is a conditional sentence. Mm. Oh, you're right. You know what? I made a little mistake. Naughty teacher. Naughty. I need had wanted to, right? That makes it better. Now we've got two past ideas. There we go. You guys got it. You're on it. Okay, it's Monday, like I said. Bear with me. We got it. We're going to make a few mistakes on Monday. We'll get rolling by Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, so I could have gone to another country. Now, if you look at number one, two, and three, what are the differences between those three? I want you guys to start thinking about that. Okay, so if you had the opportunity, yes, they're all conditionals. Um, <laughs> this, unfortunately, this is not past perfect. Because, now this is a tricky one, right? Yeah, I see you're right that this is a conditional sentence. But when we have a conditional sentence and we have had wanted, yeah, the grammar is past perfect. But the, the total grammar is not past perfect. The total grammar would be a, a conditional. Because here, could have gone. That's your imagination in the past, the third conditional, right? And then had wanted, we also use had wanted for the third conditional. So it's a conditional. It's not a past perfect sentence. Because a past perfect sentence, you would say, before I came to Vancouver, I had wanted to mm, finish my university. Something like that, right? Two very different pastimes. A little tricky one there. Okay, <clears throat> so could have gone is also past simple. Now, so all of these, numbers 1, 2, and 3, I should probably write the answers here. So I'm going to just put PS, PS, and PS. There we go. They're all past simple. Okay, now let's try one more because this is probably going to take a while. I might have to speed this up. Uh, do, 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 do. Hi, Julian. Unfortunately, apparently there's no smart Discord number, but we're going to look at it together after class. We'll try to go in and sign somebody up and see what the process is. So just keep that. We'll, we'll take a look at it at the end of class together. Uh, okay, so this one, take a look at this one. Thank you. Garima, past continuous. Yes, and how do you know it's a past continuous? Because, oh, my finger doesn't reach that far. Ah. Uh, bin hanging. So you have the bin, the be verb, right? And then you got the ing hanging. So you know that's a past continuous idea. Good. So I could have been hanging out at the beach yesterday instead of being in class. Good. Past continuous. Everybody's got it. Past continuous. Boom, boom, boom. You guys are awesome. OK, so that one is past continuous. All right. Uh, now let's look at this one here. Uh, I'll, I'll try to go through these. Maybe we'll just do this as a grammar activity. I couldn't have or I can't have stayed at home and slept today because I'm such an amazing student. And I know you guys agree with that, especially you guys who are awake and it's like really late in your country right now. And I appreciate that. I send you a little love from Vancouver. Uh, so appreciate that. Couldn't have stayed home and slept because I'm such an amazing student. So that's, again, a past idea. Is it simple or is it continuous? Of course, it's simple. You guys got it. Of course, it's simple because we don't see an ing. So I'm showing you a lot of different ways to use modal verbs in the past, uh, simple and ing, because this gets confusing. So I try to do, let's do the basics first. And then we're going to talk about what's the difference between was able to, could, and could have whatever. We're going to look at the differences between all those. Number six, I had to study really hard when I was in high school. Do you guys agree with that idea? And again, is that a simple or a continuous idea. What do we got here? Someone saying past perfect. No, don't think it's past perfect. Had to, not had been, not had gone, had studied. It's just had to. And then another verb. So there's only one past verb. There's not that extra past like had been, had studied. Simple past, simple past. Remember, I, I, my grammar is not bad. Remember, I only gave you two options. You had the past simple or the past continuous. So it can't be past perfect. It's only one of those two. And if you're thinking, oh, it's past perfect, Think about why is it not past perfect, and I guess the reason here is just had. It's not had been, had worked, had studied, had gone. It's just had. So it's got to be, it's only one past verb, past simple. Uh, okay, so that one is past simple as well. Uh, this one, I got two number sevens. Why do I got number two number sevens here? Uh, do, 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 do. What about this one here? I had to be listening careful when my parents were talking to me, I don't know, at some time in the past. I probably need some more information there. Past continuous, good. And you know it's past continuous because you got that be listening there. 
So here's the past verb, had. So it's past, right? And then be listening. Because I'm using be after that had to, we don't need the past for the be. OK? So again, yeah, you guys got it right. Uh, so that one's past continuous. This one here. My parents must have raised me very well. And if you don't know, raised me means helped, helped me to grow up. So my parents raised me. Uh, or I was raised by my grandparents. You can kind of change the subject as well. So raised me means help, helped me to grow up uh, very well because I turned out, and you can think of turned out as became, a wonderful person. I'm sure you guys agree with this. You guys are studying hard, learning English abroad, even though you're not, uh, not abroad. You're at home working hard. So you guys are wonderful people also. Uh, so turned out to be a wonderful person. No, 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 no. What is the grammar? Ah, interesting. Ah, OK. Uh, RMF says present perfect. Interesting. And that's where we're, we're also going to look at that as well today. So is it? Hmm, maybe I need to change my thing as well a little bit. Mm, but I think I'm OK. You're right. You're right, RMF. Uh, which one would it be? I'm going to guess. Well, I'm not going to guess. I wrote the sentence. but. I'm going to suggest that this one is a past simple sentence, not a present perfect one, probably because of the second idea. Because I turned out, if I said uh, I have turned out, that sounds like a present perfect idea. And then I would agree that must have raised me is a present perfect idea. So we'll, I'll, I'll do that a little bit, but I, I, I can hear what you're saying. It definitely looks like present perfect, and in some situations it can be the same. But I think not in this one. Unless I said have turned out, then it would be a good example of present perfect. So this one is also past simple. OK? And I think I'm going to skip the last few. We'll just do one more, number eight, last one here. Uh, what do we got here? <clears throat> I must have been sleeping yesterday morning because I have no idea what this grammar is. Uh, that's usually for my morning class. But you guys feel free to raise, you know, weigh in on that. What is this one? Must have been sleeping yesterday, past continuous. Good. You guys got it. All right. So let's jump into the, to the hard stuff. Let's get into the hard stuff. So let's look at these ones. <coughs> so modal verbs in the past. Might. So And what are modal verbs? Might, should, can, have to, mm, may, must all those things. Those are all modal verbs. Need to would be a modal verb as well. So everything we're looking at today, a lot of the ones that are in the warm up. OK, so let's take a look at this one here. This is the, the business side of it. We're going to get into learn how to use it. So uh, how do we usually make modal verb sentences in the past? OK, usually. Now, yeah, I, this is usually. This is, this is going to, I probably have a, too many answers for this. But let's look at this one, for example. I might mm -hmm. I'm just modal verb uh, have and I say usually not all of them but I said usually just to try to show you which ones I want to I want to work on today so modal verb I might have studied more for example what am I doing hold on let me confusing thing past, past participle what I want. Okay, so if you want an example of that, it would be I should have, I don't know, then have studied more. Okay, yesterday, last year, high school, whatever. Okay, so that would be an example of this one here. Subject plus modal verb, I might have, should have, should have gone, might have gone, must have gone. This is what I'm kind of getting to. So you got your modal verb. You need have in some situations, and then a past participle. Seen, gone, taken, whatever, uh, given. All those, those weird ones, those weird verbs. You're going to need some weird verbs today. Hello, Saeed. Welcome. Uh, OK, number two, if I wanted to do the same sentence in the past continuous, how would I do it? So I'll put that. I'm going to try to make this neat, because I'm going to give you a copy of these answers after as well. So how do I do it in the past continuous? Uh, do, 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 RMF says, I have read that the past simple of must has had to. Yes, can be. Now, we're, and we're going to look. We're going to go through all this stuff, and we're going to look at it. So Gamara says, should plus present perfect. Yes, basically. You're right, Gamara. So 
what we're doing is we're kind of, when we use modal verbs in the past, we steal the present perfect grammar. That's awesome, right? That just confuses you more. You're like, why am I learning English? It's crazy. Yes, it is crazy, unfortunately. Uh, so we actually steal the present perfect grammar. So might have gone, should have gone, must have gone, right? All those need to have gone. It's, we, we steal it. I don't know why we do that. It's crazy. It just makes it harder for you, but well, that's English, unfortunately. Okay, so now I want you guys to help me out. How do we do this one? Uh, so we got past continuous. Now what do I need? So if you, and go back and look at the warm up. Here, look for example, look at number eight. Must have been sleeping. So now, so how do we do that? So subject plus, for example, must modal verb. And then of course we need this. We need this have like we used in the other one. And then what do we need? The be verb. And I'll just I'll give you the the form. The form is been, because we need the be verb for our continuous, right? I am sitting. I was sitting. I will be sitting. All that stuff. So motive verb plus uh, ing verb. Okay. And if that's very confusing to you, let's put an example. I must have been sleeping. All right, now let's use the same example. I should have been studying more. Okay, so that's an example. This would be the past simple, this one here. So what's the big thing that you need to remember is when you're using the continuous, of course you need been and studying when you're talking in the past, and you still need the have. Both of them need the have. Okay, yes, you got it, awesome. Uh, yes, I can share the document with you one more time. Let me give you an updated version. I think it's the same. So there we go. All right. Okay. So that's how we do those two. Next. Now you can look at, go back and look at the warm up, and I want you to try to figure out what's the difference between could and be able to in the past. And I think I'll add another question because the other question was, can I use what kind of verbs? Should, and I'll give you a copy of this document at the end of class. What kind of verb should I use with uh, could and be able to? Because this is kind of important as well. Oops. All right, so what do you guys think here? Uh, so you're right, yeah, could. Okay, so could is ability, you're right. But what is be able to? Is it the same or is it different? And if you want, you can go up here, go up to my grammar challenge here, because I gave two examples. And I want you, the, the way I want you to think about this, you could use the same sentence. Mm, well, actually, no, you couldn't use the same sentence. But look at the situation. And I want you to think about how many times did could happen and how many times did was able to happen. And that might give you the answer. Okay, so take a look at those two. Possible ability, action, verbs. Yes, you're right, Gilmara. With modal verbs, we have to use a base verb. Could you tell me which is the base verb in your example? If my question is right. Mm, I'm not sure the base verb. I'm not sure what you mean by uh, base verb, uh, Garima. I'm not too sure. I'll do my best to go through it and give you guys the ideas. <clears throat> Good. Christina's getting getting close, right? And the second one was able to means manage to. So sounds like a difficult situation. Um, but I don't think that's exactly the way the way I'm going. But it could be. I was able to get a good score on it doesn't have to be managed to, right? Managed to sounds like a difficult situation. Uh, do, 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 do. So what do we got here? Do, do, do. One form of verb eat, eat. Mm, I'm not too sure. Okay, so let me give you the answer. And like I said, just if you're if you guys got a few questions, just give me give me a five minutes to go through this. And if you maybe you will see, ah, oh, okay, you you'll answer your own question while we do it. So what's the difference between number one and number two? How many times did number one happen? I could play sports again and again and again. Well, when I was younger. So we use could in this situation. Could for ability. I could play sports. I could play the piano. I could do the splits. I don't know if you know the splits when you take your legs and you go like that. I definitely cannot do that now. 
So these are all actions, right? And that's the other question. We all, they're all actions. And we do them again and again and again and again and again. But look at number two. How many times did that action happen? I was able to get a good score on last Friday's quiz. How many times did you get a good score? Was it again and again and again? No, it was only once. So often we use uh, able to for situations where they happen only one time. Like there was a fire at the school yesterday and I was able to save 10 kittens from the fire, for example, okay? Able to, one time situation, you can use able to. What else we got here? <coughs> can only be used with ability and possible, could can only be used. Uh, da, da, da. I was able to, I was able to go to the party last week. No, I, d I don't think so. I think able to, I mean, for example, I could say I was able to play, you know, soccer yesterday. So it's a one-time ability. Oh no, sorry, that's a possibility, isn't it? I was able to play soccer yesterday. I was able to play the piano. So normally the way I use was able to is just for that one-time situation. And also, of course, in the future and stuff like that. Uh, but I think was able to, usually a one-time situation, and it can be could, or sorry, it can be possibility. I was able to go to the party yesterday, okay, so possibility is okay. So mm, do we use it for ability? I was able to, I was able to play a lot of sports when I was younger. Hmm, interesting. I guess, I guess the difference would be with the could. So these two are very similar, but the could is generally, it has to be a repeated action. But the able to can be different things. All right, so I think that's what it is. The could has to be repeated action. But able to, you could use it for a one-time situation or repeated. Uh, what do we got here? Could and can is ability, like must and have to. Yes, it is ability or possibility. We've got those two for could, right? Uh, okay, alternative. Uh, so I was able to talk to my boss yesterday. Yes, you got it. Uh, what do you got here, Polar? You got a question or alternative. So let me, let me show you the third one, and then we'll, maybe that will make it more clear. So let's look at this one here. Okay, so what kind of verbs do we usually use with could and able to? Action verbs. Okay, so that's the answer for this one here. Action verbs. Uh, I could go, I could walk, I could buy. Mm, I was able to go, I was able to walk, I was able to buy. And again, able to does sound a little bit more more formal, doesn't it? It's, it just it has that sound. Usually longer is, is more formal. Now let's look at these two here. Maybe this one, hopefully this will fix up some of the questions you guys have. What about these two here? There are two meanings when we use can. What is the difference between these two sentences? I could play basketball when I was young, and I could have played basketball when I was young. Very similar. Now I, they're a little bit, normally I wouldn't do this to you, but today I wanted you to tell me the difference between those two. So if I use could and play, what does that mean? And if I use could have played, what does that mean? Because we have one word we usually use in English to kind of distinguish these two things. So what would you use? And you were using the words already. So what, how would you separate these two? I could play basketball when I was young. OK, great. I could have played basketball when I was young. What's the difference between these two? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who's got an answer for that one? And Pilar, hopefully I'll answer your question in one of these explanations. I'm not sure what, what the alternative you wanted was. Second sentence, Bismo says in the second sentence he had an ability to play, but he didn't. OK? Uh, so the second had ability to play, but he didn't. Yes, you're right. And can you give me one word, maybe one word to just kind of so we can put in one category? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you guys got the right idea. I could have, but I, I didn't. RMF says one sentence means I had the ability to play yes, and the second sentence said I had the ability, but I did not. Good. So I think you guys got it. So I'm going to give you one word just to remember. So if you use could and play, or could and go, or could and study, uh, that means ability. And the second one means possibility. <clears throat> OK? Ability. I can play the piano. I could play the piano. Um, I can uh, I can play the guitar. I can I can play basketball. Ability, ability, ability. Possibility. I could go to the I. Um, what could I say? I could have played basketball when I was young. My choice. Possibility. I could have gone to the party yesterday. My choice. Possibility. So of course you can go to the party. You have the ability to go to the party. 
So this is where we kind of separate those two and we say could go is ability, could have gone is possibility. So we kind of separate those two in that situation. Um, and also says was definitely able to play, possibility of playing, you got it. So ability, could, and the verb, and possibility, could have past participle. So that's the differences there. All right, next one. Let's go on here. Pilar got it? Awesome, good stuff. Uh, what do these sentences mean? I couldn't have gone to bed early last night, or I couldn't have played basketball in high school. What do those mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Mahmoud says, could we have, could have we use only for past? I'll get to that as well, uh, Mahmoud, but uh, there's another situation when we, we could use could have gone or could have studied, and we kind of talked about it a little bit earlier, and I'm going to show you an example of that soon. Uh, so there is one more situation when you could use could have gone or could have studied or might have gone or might have studied. We're going to talk about that soon. Uh, so, uh, so what do these sentences mean? I couldn't have gone to bed early last night or couldn't have played basketball. And do they have the same meaning is, uh, I guess, another question we should probably ask. Uh, so, what do both of them mean? Uh, could, no, 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 regret, RMF says regret. Yeah, I think you're, a lot, you're right. So it's basically impossible. Uh, so again, couldn't have go to bed. It's not really an ability, is it? It's just a possibility. Uh, well, actually, no, wait, that's not true. It could be an ability, right? Like if I couldn't sleep last night, I did not have the ability to sleep. So, so we would call this one inability. Oh, that's why I did this. Okay, so the first one is inability. Uh, and this one, for example, uh, let me give you more information to make this one more clear. I couldn't, I can't have played uh, basketball in high school because I hate it, hated it. Okay, so that way it's a little bit more clear. So you can see I added a little bit more information, and now I'm safe to say impossibility. Does that make sense? So if you say couldn't have gone or can't have gone, it doesn't matter. Actually, you can say whatever you want. Couldn't have gone, can't have gone, no problem. But the meaning could be inability or it could mean impossibility. Sorry for that. English is crazy once again, right? Um, but they could mean the same thing. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, anyways. So they can mean the same thing. Um, you know what? Maybe. Sorry, I might have made a mistake here. Couldn't. No, sorry. I, I don't know why I did that. I just screwed up my own lesson. Give me a sec couldn't play. Just screwed that up. Let me change that. Sorry about that. Couldn't play basketball. That's what I want. Okay. Now it's more clear, right? I could play basketball when I was young. I couldn't play basketball when I was young. Inability. Couldn't have played basketball in high school because I hated it. Impossibility. You had the ability, but you didn't like basketball. Does that make sense? Everybody so far so good? So again, it's just the opposite, right? You got, I could play basketball, ability. I couldn't play basketball, inability. Could have played, possibility. Couldn't have played, impossibility. I don't know why we separate these things in English. It's kind of crazy, actually, right? Why don't we just either keep them together or always keep them separate? I'm not too sure. Sorry, guys. I apologize on behalf of the English language. It's crazy. All right. The more I teach English, the more I think it's crazy. I'll be honest with you. I might just go learn another language. There's got to be some easier. Maybe Esperanto. You guys know Esperanto? That could be good. A million people speak that. Maybe it's going to be more popular. Chinese. Chinese could be good. Grammar is really easy. It's kind of like, you want what? Ni yao sama. There we go. Any, any Chinese speakers in the chat? Help me out. Uh, Mandarin. Yeah, there you go. Manol, go learn some Mandarin. Maybe it's easier. You want this. You want that. What, what do you want? You don't even have to say, what do you want? You say, what you want. Easy. Pronunciation, not so easy, though. All right. So next up, what's the difference between these two sentences? I had to leave my keys at home this morning, or I must have left my keys at home this morning. Please give me a few answers. What do you guys think is the difference here? This is a long lesson today. There's a lot of stuff to cover. Coffee is good. I had to leave my keys at home this morning, 
or I must have left my keys at home this morning. What is the difference between these two here? No, we're not that. That's the old one. That's the last one. We're looking at had to. Had to is different, right? Had to is not can and not could. It's a different situation. So what's the difference here? <clears throat> and I'm sure you guys have studied this before. Judah says 100% is must. Okay, yeah, but there's I got two different sentences. Had to and must have left. What's the difference here? Good. Monica's got it. Obligation, possibility. Good. So the first one, of course, had to, you know, have to. Obligation. So, for example, you say your mother says, you can't leave the keys at home. Kind of like you had to. So I had no choice. I, I had to. So I thought, okay, okay, there's the keys. They're at home. Done. Uh, but number two, what word should I use here? I'm going to use, what word should I use? I'll use guess or assumption. Actually, I like using this word, but it's a guess. I like to say assumption, but the meaning is also guess. So your guess. So only, now this is confusing for some students. Uh, so the first one, the first one is the obligation, right? The second one is the hmm, hmm, what happened? I must have left my keys at home. Okay, so the second one, when you say must have left, that's the guess. You're like, hmm, what happened? So you can only use this grammar when you guess something, right? Like, oh, where? Oh, I must have left my umbrella at home. Or, oh, I must have left my keys. Oh, he must have been tired because he had that marathon yesterday. Okay, so you can only use must have for these situations when you're making a guess about something. But had to is the easy one. Uh, it's the obligation, like a no choice, right? You, right? The one we usually use in the present. I have to go to school. I had to go to school. Got it? All right. Next one. Didn't have to. <clears throat> uh, do I need the opposite of this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I do, don't I? Okay. Why don't I have that before? What does? I'm going to add one more. What does must not, of course, would be the opposite. No, I need to make the opposites, don't I? Eh. Let me let me make a new one. It'll be better for later. <coughs> it's weird, isn't it? Okay, let me try this one. I didn't have to. Let me, I'll use an easy sentence. I didn't have to study hard in high school. Okay. So what does this one mean? So of course I'm using the opposite of had to, right? So there. Okay, so what would be the opposite? I'll just say no obligation. Okay, and I'll do the same thing for the other one. So I'll just delete that question altogether and just do differences. This is weird. This sentence is pretty weird. You wouldn't say this. I must not. Uh, what, what can I say? I must not have. It's weird. It's a, you wouldn't say this too often. I must not have. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Uh, I must not have. Mm, came home, no, I can't think of anything, because it's a weird situation. You would only say, I must not have done something when you can't remember something. And again, you're making an assumption or a guess in the negative. Oh, it's such a weird one. I must not have done well on my test because the teacher looked angry. I don't know. It's hard to think of something. Okay, so again, you're just making another assumption, <clears throat> but in the negative. Yeah, does that make sense? I must not have done well on the test. You're not sure, you don't know, but you're just taking a guess. You're making an assumption or a guess in the negative. Okay, so there, you wouldn't use this one too often. Even me, I couldn't even think of an example, right? Because why would you make guesses about things in negative situations? It's kind of weird. 
I must not have studied studied RMF. Yeah, so I must not have studied. But again, you wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say I must not have studied. The only time you say I must not have done something or I must have done something is when you are not sure. You're like, hmm, hmm, what happened last night? Oh, I forget. Oh, I must have left my keys at home because I don't have them right now. Or you know what I mean? So it's when you, the only time you use must have left or must not have left or whatever is when you're not sure. So we don't use it that often unless we're making a guess. You know, you guess about someone else. Um, oh, my brother must have come home late because I didn't see him this morning or something like that. So you make guesses about what happened. Does that make sense to everybody? Uh, so I wasn't obliged to study hard in school. Yeah, sure. I must start. Okay, so just be careful with that one. It's a little tricky. Next question. This is a heavy, heavy one today, right? Because there's a lot of rules to use in the in the past. So we're just kind of giving you a big introduction, and then if we got so we got 10 minutes left, we'll do a little bit of uh, do a little bit of sentences with the time, and you guys can use a variety. What's the difference between may and might? Nothing. They're the same. There might be one. There might be one situation when we use might and not may, but I forget what it is. So it's not. It can't be super important. It's probably like one of those little little details. Why do we use would? Well, different reasons, right? We use would for conditionals, right? If I had a million dollars, I would travel around the world, of course. And the other one we use would for is will in the past. Or, you know, I would have. Well, they're for conditionals, aren't they? I would have bought. Well, they're for conditionals, aren't they? Why do we use would? So I guess we don't really need that one. It is a modal verb. Mm, I would have gone yesterday if blah blah blah. So it's a conditional sentence in the past. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to get rid of would because it's more of a it's more of something that I would teach you guys in a conditionals lesson rather than a modal verbs. Okay. Last one. Take a look at these ones. Look at these ones. <clears throat> this is this is the one that you guys were asking about before. What are the two possible types of grammar in these sentences? Now you can see I didn't put a lot of information. I used a bad word. I used the S-bomb. It's not really a bomb. The F-bomb's an S, a bomb, but the S is eh, it's whatever. Oh, I might have lost my keys. Uh, what is the grammar? So what are the, now you did some grammar today, so there's two types of grammar that this could be. What are the two possibilities for grammar that this sentence could be? And some of you guys were talking about it before. What's, it's, what's the difference? So, Tell me what those are there. What do you guys think these are? What could be the difference between these two? Any ideas? Well, the first one, you know, past simple. And the next one, any guesses? Nobody's coming up here. Might have lost. Oh, oh man, I might have lost my keys. When would I say that? What kind of grammar would I be using? RMF, very nice. On it, buddy. Present perfect. You can see, because we steal the grammar from present perfect simple for past modal verbs. Can't see the bottom. Oh, OK. It's down here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, no. Thank you. Thank you, Garima. I will. Oh, no. Instead of, oh, OK. It's better. It's easier. And I'm, not, I'm supposed to keep it clean. This is an educational environment. So let's. Let's cut out the dirty words. That's a great piece of advice. Oh, no, or oh, my gosh, or oh, my lord. Uh, OK, so this is the thing, present perfect simple. So sometimes you could get confused. Is this a past idea, a past simple idea, or is it a present perfect? So it depends on the context. If you say, oh, oh no, I might have lost my keys, sounds like right now, present perfect simple. But you say, oh, man, I might have lost my keys last night past simple. So it really depends on, on which words, what's the situation, and which words you use. Put last night is going to be past simple. Don't put last night, might be present perfect. OK, and the other one was I should have brought, I should have brought a camera, forgot my articles, naughty teacher, a camera. OK, awesome. So that was a lot. That took a lot of stuff. Uh, now I'd like you guys to make your own sentences, please. So we got a few minutes left. Uh, I'd like you guys to choose anything that we learned today. Might, may, must, could, maybe two different coulds, right? Because we have the could have, and we got the other one. Give me some sentences about anything you want. 
something you did in the past, something your school did, uh, your teacher did, your country, anything you want uh, using any of the grammar that we learned today. So I got nine spaces available, but anyway, shoot them out. Uh, anything you want. Uh, so I'll start off. What, what would I like to use? Mm -hmm. I might have traveled to another country. As you can see, sometimes um, we use conditional sentences just to because they're easier. Because they're right, you're thinking about the past, you're thinking about different possibilities. So I might have traveled to another country if I didn't go to university. Okay, so I might have traveled to another country. All right, Gozia says, it must have been love, but now it's over. Yes, exactly. Good example. I must have learned this before, Manal. Okay, you learned it. I think you're the one who wanted something a little more challenging, right? Uh, must have learned this before. Yeah, probably. Again, remember, if you're not sure, right? I must have learned this before. That would be must. But if, you, if you're sure, then you say, oh, I learned this before. So it's a little bit of a trickier situation. Good. What else do you guys got? What else can you use? Uh, using might, may, could have, could, all those ones. Mm -hmm. Good. RMF says because I was born. Born in a non-English country. Non-English speaking. That's a weird one. Non-English-speaking. You're kind of creating an adjective. I could not speak English. Good. So you didn't have the ability. Good. Uh, and, you know, if you were born in a non-English speaking country, you could also use the other one, right? right? You could say, I could not have spoken English. Maybe you didn't have the possibility as well, but mm, could not. I could, could not speak English. Yeah, it could be both. You could kind of use both in that situation. So sometimes it's not. It's pretty easy. You could actually use either, and you're going to be okay. Uh, Bisma, uh, sorry, Judith. Uh, I might have learned my mistake more than I did. Hmm. I might have learned, learned from, learned from my mistake more than. I did. What does that mean? Might have learned more. Possibly. Mm. I think you want, maybe Judith, you want to say I should, maybe I should have learned from my mistake more than I did. Like you learned something after the mistake, but you think I could have learned, I could have learned more from this mistake. So maybe that's the idea there. Uh, Bisma says, uh, I must not have paid the bill last night. Or you sort of forgot, maybe you forgot to pay the bill. Uh, Gozia says, you could have studied harder. Yes. You talking about me, Gozia? Yeah, probably in high school. Yeah, I probably could have studied harder. Pilar says, you might learn at least five new words every day. Okay, Pilar, but I want you to put that sentence into the past. How would you change? How would you use might in a past situation, not a present situation? Gumar says, I should have studied French before I went to France. Always a good idea. And if you go to France, I think they appreciate it when you speak French. I remember when I was there. Yeah, I spoke a little bit of horrible, horrible French. I speak a lot of little languages really, really badly. But they really liked it. They're kind of like, oh, he's so cute. He's trying to speak our language. And then they would switch to English from me. I was like, yes, thank you. Save me. Uh, what else we got here? Grima says, I could have studied interior decoration instead of architecture. There's another, another feasible, feasible option. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, Manal says, I could have improved my English by making friends with a native speaker. Yeah, good as well. Uh, Gozia said, I shouldn't have been trying. Good. Oh, nice. I shouldn't have been trying. So she used the past continuous. Very nice. I shouldn't have been trying to make this coffee, uh, comma, it tastes terrible. Uh, yeah, you win some, you lose some. I actually have an espresso machine at home, so I make my own coffee and it always turns out well. I highly recommend it. Get yourself an espresso machine, little liquid sunshine every morning. Uh, RMF says, you may have taught us English. I hope so, RMF. I hope I was able to teach you just a little bit. Just a little bit better. Uh, Salua says, I couldn't have traveled even to the nearest cities. Good, also. not So no possibility as well. Couldn't have traveled, maybe comma, even to the nearest cities. Uh, what else we got? I must not have loved him mm, strong or strongly. Mm, I must not have loved him deeply. We might use deeply in English because it was <laughs> it's easy to quit him. You're done. You're out of here. I must not have loved him very deeply because it was easy. I'm going to give you a new word here. 
easy to get over him. So let me steal this sentence here. I want to give you that one. It's a good one. It was not easy to get over him. Ah, why is that not showing up? Let's try that again. All right. Let's try that again. Okay. It was it was easy to get over him. Uh, when you break up with somebody, when you you and you feel better, when you feel better, we say get over someone, or get over something. Like for example, someone in your family dies. You're very sad, but later you feel better. You say I got over it, or you broke up with a partner and you say later I feel better. You say oh I got over him. I got over her. Okay, so that's a good good combination we use in English. Bisma says, uh, I might have approached the office. Uh, maybe. I might have approached the office if he didn't apologize. Mm, I might have, I'm going to change that a little bit. I might have approached the office if he hadn't apologized. I think this one is a past perfect one because we need the apologize is in the past in the past time and then later in the past time also past uh, I I might have approached the office so we have two past times there Nell says I should have been paying more attention at lectures awesome good there all right very nice guys I think you got the idea here so anyways this was kind of an overview uh, we, we did a lot you know we did the if you want to take a look back uh, there was another lesson I'll tell you which lesson it was so when we did uh, my, if you want to look more at modal verbs, we did a class, and it's smart class number five. So if you want, you can't really see that here, but smart class with my in my classes, if you did number five, that was when we looked at modal verbs in the present or the future. So if you feel like yeah, you need some more practice with this kind of stuff, uh, you can go look at lesson number five, and that'll give you a look at modal verbs in the present and the future. And this class was about the past. Okay, so that's kind of everything I wanted to go through today. What else we got here? Please share a previous class document. Okay, I can do that. So I'll give you guys the, the modal verb. Uh, like I said, if you want the, the class document, I can share that with you as well. And then you can always go and watch the lesson as well. Uh, it'd be good. It'd be nice if I could share all of these with you guys more easily. That would be great. Let's see here. There we go. I think it's this one. And I just got to make sure on the web. Yeah, good. And you can not edit it, you can view it. There we go. That should be good. Oh, oh, sold on. Uh, let me, give me a sec, okay? I'll get back to that one as well. I might, I'll give that one to you later, RMF. Give me a second to finish this stuff up. Okay, guys. So basically, I think this is everything I wanted to go over. Uh, there's the other lesson, as you can see. But this was kind of, uh, kind of, you know, it's it's a, it's a lot of information because there's a lot of different ways, right? We have the could play and could have played, so there are some differences there. Um, do your best, practice these things. Like I said, I mean, this is just one way that we introduce you to these things, and you can kind of pick these things apart and learn the differences between them. Uh, but again, it's no replacement for just you know learning English, reading books and stuff, and that way you kind of naturally pick up this stuff and you'll know it sounds right. So read your books and that will help a lot. So I hope you guys were found this lesson useful. And uh, again, if you guys have, have any recommendations for different lessons you'd like to work on grammar related, that's kind of what we focus on in, in this smart class. So if you have any ideas, uh, send them my way, send them into the chat. And then I think for those of you guys who want to stick around, uh, we can look at how to open up the, the Discord app. And I'll, I'll walk through that with you guys. Uh, <laughs> RMF's got how do you get a high bands and IELTS? That's a different class, RMF. Unfortunately, that's, a, that's another class. Uh, but uh, whew, it's hard. <laughs> it's, it's not easy to get a high band and IELTS. It takes years of practice sometimes. All right, guys. Manal, you're happy with that one? I hope you were all right with that one. I wanted to challenge you a little bit as well. Uh, but anyways, practice that, guys. You know, make some sentences in your own free time. Uh, get used to this. Get especially those differences, right? Had to, must, na 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 na. Okay, so go over those notes. Make a few sentences. Do some research on the internet. You will be awesome. All right. So who? I think there's some of you guys left who'd like to check out the Discord app. Yes, 
uh, please uh, let me know if you're still here because we can go through this as well. Discord app, do we want to check this out right now? Boop, boop, boop. Okay, well, let's see here. Uh, let's see what we can do here, if we can download it here. Gorim is here. Okay, good. Let's see here. So, okay, so let's go. I think what you guys probably ought to do is go with your phone and go for your Discord app here. Uh, and let's check it out. Uh, bum, bum, bum. So go to your apps from there. And I think you just searched the Discord app. So let's see how it goes here. I need some data here. You're welcome, guys. Welcome. Well, let's see what we can do from here. Let's open up this Discord app. Do, do, do. Missed an update. No, no, thank you. Okay, so, so I'm already logged in. So this is going to be difficult for me to do download now I think this will choose it and you put your phone in here so you choose that no oh that's a that's a desktop so it looks like there's a desktop application as well so if you guys want you can put it on your computer or you could put it on your phone uh, so let's see here let's see if we can't do it uh, I don't think I'll be able to show you on my phone but the only thing it said, I, I, text, I texted my, my buddy who's in charge of this stuff, and he said there's no, there's no four-digit code, but you do have to give yourself a screen name. And I know you guys said you're having some problems with that. Um, so let's see here. I'm not too sure what I can do for him. I, I don't seem to have my Wi-Fi here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's get that going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to help you out with this. I got... I don't have any Wi-Fi connection here. I'll try, I can try to use my cellular data, but you wouldn't be able to see my phone on here. Uh, I downloaded it, but I don't know how it works. Okay. Um, if you got, I guess you can't send me a screenshot of it. Um, so uh, the only thing I can show, let me show you mine, because I am logged in here, I believe. Where is this here? So you can use it on your computer. And I think it's a pretty, I mean, I did the registration, and I think it was pretty straightforward. You just add your email addresses, a screen name. Uh, maybe, maybe there's a specific screen name um, that you want, or maybe you can't use it. Kareem knows how to use it. OK, well, maybe, maybe you guys will have to chat with Kareem and, and do it on there, because I just signed up as well. I signed up, but I didn't have any problem signing up, so I'm not too sure uh, what would be the problem here. Let me log out here, and let's see if we can do it this way. How do I log out right here? Okay, <clears throat> so let's see what's happened. Let's try to go through this process. I'll create a fake account. Discord tag, just wait here. So number, 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 Discord tag number. Hmm. All right, so I'll, I'll try to do this, but maybe you guys can tell me if it's the same. Discord tag number, hmm. Why would you have a number? Maybe just any number? Did you try just any random number? I don't know if it's the important thing. But it's because I had a number, and I think they gave me. Oh, well, I think Kareem's in class right now. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure. The other option is I think Kareem has his class on Wednesday. So if you guys want, maybe just hang out, wait a few days until Kareem comes back on Wednesday, and he can probably walk you through it. But I think, oh well, yeah, that, what would be here? Let me let me do a quick thing. Let me just use one of my other emails. Uh, did I use this one? my email from when I was like 16 years old uh, no so I'm this is my new one create an account let's try that email is already registered yeah. smart English let's see what's on that. I do believe it works on laptops because I was just in it on this one so let me try another one mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because uh, it'll send you Discord number. Aha, uh -huh, maybe this is it. When you sign up, you should get an email. They should email you, and maybe there's a number in there. And maybe is that what happened? Did you check your email as soon as you did the access thing? Maybe they send you a number, and you have to put that number in, and then you can register. Does that make sense to everybody? That might be an option. Uh, but I think it does work on laptops. Laptops, smart English must have a number. So when I so when I did it, I got a link to this one. And I think once you're once you're on uh, smart English, I think 
Let's see here. There may, okay, let me check it out. You, you're asking, oh, that's what you're asking. You're probably asking for a number for using Smart English, right? So let's see if I can jump back in here. Okay, we're going to do that. Oh, okay, so enter Discord number. So let's see, where's the smart? How can I go here? We need an invite. They didn't send any email. Can I have a smart name on Discord? Okay, let's do that. So where could we go here? Do, 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 do now. How would I get here? 37 new messages. Is it connected with Skype? Good question. I'm not too sure if it's connected with Skype. Mentions. Smart. Aha! <laughs> okay, I think I found it. Share this link with others. Boom! Awesome. All over it. If this thing works, then I will send you this link. Can I set this link to never expire? I guess so. Let's find out. If it creates a link, I will send it to you, and then I think that should link you up to everything. Probably the admin has an invite number or link. Yeah, right. Maybe this is, if this thing works, I don't know why it's taking so long. That's weird. But if that works, I could definitely send you that. No limit. Yeah, let's do no limit. OK, let's say one day. Grant temporary membership, generate a new link. Why is that not working? Uh, probably, no, 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 no. Hmm. Why are you not working? Just do that for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Edit channel. It's got to be a link here somewhere. Leave server. Nope, leave that. Stay there. Server mute, notification, privacy, announcements, general. Instant invite, that's what I want. Give me an instant invite. Yes, finally. This is being annoying. All right, I think. Let's try that. Try that. Hopefully, that works. That should bring you to where these people are. Because we have a student, we also have a live stream chat. So that's the main one. And then there's other ones as well. So I guess students, general, live class, there's a lot of different chats. And I guess you can kind of join different chats in different situations. Admin, Kareem's chat, they got my chat. So let's see what's going on. Let's, where's the chatter here? Uh huh, English 14. OK, so maybe let's go back. I'm going to share. Uh, do, 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 do. Who needed that one? Somebody needed that old link. Now, where was it? I should probably share my links in this chat. That would probably be a lot easier. Does that work for you guys? Are you in now? Have you guys been able to connect with this stuff? Is anybody there? Hello. Hello. Um, hmm. OK, so yeah, I need to share some links in here. Maybe I'll do that for people. It would be useful. All right, I feel like I'm here alone. Is anybody out there? Am I all alone? Just talking to myself, drink some coffee? Hmm. OK. Anyways, mm, I hope you guys were able to connect. I'm not hearing any chatter from anybody, so I hope you guys were able to connect to that. If not, we'll try again. Um, always have a chat with Kareem, maybe on Wednesday. Not able to find smart on it. Interesting. Well, there's the student's chat. I'll try after this class. OK, guys, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not, I'm not a whiz at this kind of stuff. I thought this was it here, streamer one, streamer two. <coughs> Let's see what happens if we search smart. You get a few, right? If you search smart, boop, boop, you'll get a few connections, like Kareem is there. Here's smart live. But that's not the right one, is it? That's not our smart. We want Kareem smart there. So there's this one. Hmm. Interesting. Smart English. Intermediate. Here we go. What's that? Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't seem to be very good at it. I'm not too sure. You might just have to get a link. <clears throat> I'll send you that link one there, and I can send you uh, one from my chat, and one. I'll send you one for Kareem's chat. So 
So this is Kareem's. If you guys find it, please share it with each other in the chat or maybe in Discord here. So I'll just add that. So here's Kareem's chat. Get in there. So that should be Kareem's. And this one is mine. I'll send you that one as well. Okay, so hopefully that helps you guys get hooked up. And for the last person, I gotta send this one as well. Uh, view only. Anyone on the web? Good. And hopefully that person will get that one as well. If you don't know the number, you can't connect to smart. What's the number? All right. Let's try that. And that's for whoever was looking for my old lesson as well. Uh, don't know the number, can't connect to smart. What is the number? Show me this number. Streamer one, admin, online. Manel's there, RMF's there. You guys are in. Hover over the smart name. Okay, here we go. Meant to search the hashtag Kent's chat. Hmm. I think if you guys just search like this, I think if you search search smart, you will get a few options. Right, that's what hap That's what I did here, and you'll get a few if you do that. Right, you get Kareem's there. You can get mine. <laughs> okay, I'm not popular, I guess. Kareem's is there. Why isn't mine there? Okay, anyways, no worries. But these are the ones. So I sent you them before. I think these ones up here should do it. Right, the, this one up here should be Kareem's. Hmm tricky not enough if we're looking smart guys I will I will try to get you that info and send it to you uh, unfortunately I don't know why this is so difficult this is my chat here we got Kareem's chat and then we got general how are we doing conversation club live class conversation club travel technology Announcements, students, general. I feel like this is the one, no? I'll give you guys the link for this one. This is the students general page. 2013, yeah, that's me. 2013, Julian, you got it. So this is the general students chat. So if you can follow that, Try that link, let me know. You join via the link, awesome, okay? And like I said, this one is Kareem's chat. I already shared that one. And this one is my chat, which I think I'll just share as well. So you should be hooked up. Okay, and there's my chat as well. So I would say probably go to the general students chat, uh, that, that first one I sent there, general students. And that way, I think you'll get in touch and you'll be connected to all this stuff as well. Let's see here, because where are we at here? Yeah. Okay, so hopefully, th is everyone okay? Click smart and it would say the number. Okay. Well, I'm clicking smart here, all right? And there's no number here, unless there's another smart section, but I can't. No, what's that? Create, join, no, no, thanks. Smart, why is smart not come up? Search for smart general this is it okay you guys see this see where it says general this is the smart chat so this link I think that I sent you here uh, so I've, I think I've given you guys all the invites so can you click on those links on those links that I sent in the chat and I think that should set you guys up um, yeah okay anyways I think that's everything got that 
Uh, yeah, so the general one here, this general one here, this is, I believe this is the smart chat that we're, that we're working on right now. Okay, so this one here, there we go, somebody's up. Garima, hello Garima, hello. <laughs> There we go. Uh, so invite Julian. What do we got here? Quick smart and it's in here. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Hmm. What do we have? Hello. Hello, RMF. Okay, people are coming in. You guys are getting in here, I think, right? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Anyways, I think this is the one you guys want, and this will help you get connected with everything else, okay? So there we go. Discord that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so check out that one. Unfortunately, I, I'm not too sure. I've given you all the links. I think they connect you to everything. I see some people are chatting me up. So who's in here? RMF's in here. I posted a link which everyone can join. So RMF is posting links as well, apparently. Garima. Um, so hopefully you guys will be able to connect to one of these. Yeah, because the smart page is there. And I think it's the general chat here. Because at the top of the screen it says general, right? Okay, so I'm going to have to leave you guys there. Okay, he's got a link here. Oh, okay, let's copy this. All right, RMF has given you this link as well. Maybe that will, is that, I hope that's what it was for. That's too big. I can't even post that. Too big, unfortunately. Uh, da, 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 da. Copy that. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's too big for my YouTube chat here. <coughs> it won't let me do it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure, guys. Um, keep give it a go. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I can do. I posted a few links in there, and I, I think they're the correct link. So keep working at it. Um, you know, maybe if you guys can connect to each other, I don't know, through this chat, you could also do that. Maybe you can get. But I think you just go smart, and I think if you search smart, right, you'll get there eventually. Uh, how can I get that over? See, you right there. You got the smart. So search for SMART, S-M-R-T, the best way to spell SMART. And I think you guys will be able to connect to SMART Live or, well, maybe not this one, but SMART, one of either me or Kareem or one of the SMART Live chats. Because there's, there's my face. So this has got to be SMART English or maybe SMART English. General, see? The first thing that comes up is, is a general. Can I invite you, Julian? I don't know. I'm not too sure if I can uh, give you that. Um, Julian dash C. Let's see here. Let me find out. Where can I do invites? Invite, invite, invite. Member list. Invite, invite. Hmm. Message general, smart English. Dash C, number one, two, eight, one. No, no, not too sure. I'm not too sure where to find this, the invites tag here. Still new with the app, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, not not my not my forte, unfortunately. But keep at it, guys. Keep at it, Julian. Maybe you'll 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 stumble across. Maybe just doing some searches on this. SMRT that might bring you there. Unfortunately, I got to run, guys. I hope you were able to connect to uh, Discord and you guys can keep in touch in the future and have some chats, uh, share each other links and all the always stuff here. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on with Kareem's as well and a few chats with mine as well. So keeping up. Um, there we go. Who's this? RMF again. Link can be found on Smart Facebook. So there you go. Go to the Smart Facebook page. check that out Julian okay go check it out hopefully you can get in that way that's gonna be it for me today guys I hope you guys get into this and you can keep in touch with everybody let give it a try let us know how it is uh, and we'll see you guys next Monday so uh, have a great week everybody if anyone's still there just maybe me and Julian still here but have a great week guys and we'll see you next time okay see you later